Hey everybody, Tony D and Little Joan here with your Hollywood hot take. Yeah, I'm putting it here on YouTube because, uh, you know, we need to still keep a few things on YouTube, I guess. You know, I don't forget, we're going to have two exclusive videos today. They're only on BitChute and Rumble. Links below along with my books. Check them out, support the channel, and please follow us on BitChute and Rumble because YouTube is a-hole. Um, right, Little Joan? Little Joan, Little Joan's asleep. All right, this isn't necessarily Hollywood, but it's kind of kind of media. <laughs> this is from Petapixel. Seven things we can do to encourage diversity in nature photography, because you know the racism in nature photography. I wish. Oh, I just thought of a great thing. I could have had like, I could have taken like stills from nature photography and put little white hoods on the atom animals to show you how much racism was in nature photography <laughs> look at this woman black lives matter everybody i'm going into the woods now to take pictures of animals but uh, at least the animals know i'm woke it's just unbelievable see the bigger problem oh yeah f photography f photography what are you doing with your life you should be fighting racism um, look at yourself. Yeah, that's just what we want to do in nature photography. Look at yourself. Uh, empower the next generation because, you know, photographers, they're, they're constantly being swarmed by children and need to teach them about more nature photography. Diversify editors because everything's not woke enough. Yeah, and instead of going out and taking pictures for National Geographic, Spend your time trying to calculate what percentage of editors need to be BIPOC or woke or disabled. And then, you know, for F photography, diversity at all levels. Yes, it can never stop. Nothing can ever stop the woke train. That's just what we need. Why aren't there people in wheelchairs out in nature taking photography? Why aren't they out taking pictures of lions and rhinos on the savannah? Oh, I can think of one reason. Actively reach out, lift each other up. Code word, uh, lift up women, lift up certain people, but not all the people, because that's how diverse and racist they are, I think. Uh, and embrace your own voice. Well, you know, here's here's a clue. Just take effing pictures. How about that? How about just take the pictures? How about just take pictures? Nature photography has nothing to do with racism, nothing, nothing has nothing to do with it. Can you see the race of the person from the photo that's emailed or mailed in? Can you see it? No, you can't. It's the most woke carded thing I've ever heard. And I, I threw this in here because Rudy's a bit of a celebrity. Um, FBI spied on Giuliani, Trump, iCloud communications during impeachment trial, uh, impeachment push, according to Giuliani. And this is in the Epoch Times. Uh, Rudy's been all over the major news stations being interviewed. And, uh, you know, he, he's, it's, re it's really bad. Because essentially what they're saying is you're not, you have no privacy until the government looks over all your stuff and then they decide what, what is private and not. And Rudy was Trump's lawyer. You can't look at his communications between him and Trump. You can't. But the federal government's determined to create a situation in which Rudy goes to jail, Trump can't run. Does that sound like a, you know, it sounds like a third world banana republic. It shouldn't happen. And speaking of wackiness <laughs> after endorsing violent crime aquaman and justice league star jason momoa calls for donald trump supporters to unfollow him done and done bounding into comics this is from uh this isn't gonna end well this is not gonna end well jason momoa for your career uh please half the country don't follow me okay how about we don't watch your movies <laughs> How's that going to work out? Uh, I don't remember him endorsing violent crime, but I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, here it is. Back in June 2020, 
Momoa endorsed violent crime, including property destruction and rioting that included encouraging rioters to tear down public statues. Momoa shared a video on Instagram of rioters tearing down a statue to, Brit to British merchant, philanthropist, and former member of parliament, Edward Colston. Is he English? I don't even know. Doesn't sound English. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, he's just... Here, here, here's his tweet. I'm proud of the activists and organizers in Bristol in the United Kingdom who tore this, tore this down, tear them all down everywhere I support this. Wait until you see the next video. Okay. All right. You, you keep retweeting stuff like that. Oh, here it is in caps. Please unfollow me. Let, uh, me. Let's make it easy. I am completely against Trump. If you like that this monster, we have nothing in common. Please unfollow me. Now, aloha. Bah ha 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 ha. What? This is what happens when you spend all day working out. I guess you don't really read the news. <laughs> so, you know. And, and granted, this is bounding in the comics, so they're digging for this stuff. Um, but, um, okay. Yeah. Let, let's, let's never speak of him again. And see how that works for a famous celebrity. Rocker Glenn Danzig, punk rock explosion couldn't happen today due to cancel culture and woke BS. True, it wouldn't have happened because the young people who would have been punk uh, are too busy on Twitter, you know, trying to show off their new gender <laughs> and how woke they are. Uh, but there's another generation coming that, uh, that could be more punkish. But punk was really a response to you know, the, the establishment, I'll just say, at that time. And you're talking early 80s. So I kind of was <clears throat> dimly aware of punk. Um, not as much as some, but, you know, by the, you know, early to mid 80s, I was finally starting to get it. But I didn't really get it because I, you know, South Jersey, we're kind of out of the mix for this. It was more an urban thing. Um, but we, we heard rumblings in Philadelphia of the punk scene. We had the Dead Milkmen, who were a Philly band, local. Um, we had uh, Grendel's Lair, which was the club, uh, long gone now, on South Street. So, uh, I believe it was South Street. Yeah, so eh, it's not going to happen. Maybe it could in another, you know, I don't know tens of years, but, um, you know, the cancel culture guys really are going to go down hard. And I, for one, cannot wait for these people to hide themselves. They'll be hiding. They'll be the ones that'll be hunted. They'll be the ones like some tweet will be dug up from them of 10 years ago. Oh, I was never in cancel culture. Uh? <laughs> Actress McKenny, McKenna Grace wants people to be uncomfortable with her 14 year old wife on the handmaid's tail. Okay. Whatever. I mean, it's a TV show. Who cares? Um, Disneyland reopens in California 293 days after Disney World reopened in Florida. So that's interesting. Disneyland reopened on Friday in Anaheim at 25% capacity. Jesus. Must have been good if you could get a ticket. Nobody there. Uh, you hit all the rides, no problem. No lines for once at Disney World. Fantastic. But I wouldn't go to Disney. Nah, not anymore. I went years and years and years ago. I've seen it. I, I love the arcade. They had a great arcade, but now it's like, why? Why would I go? I wouldn't want to support them in any way. So, And finally, Elliot Page. I collapsed after being pressured to wear a dress at Inception premiere. Elliot. Let me explain to you. When women do this, when you were uh, uh, you know, a woman, if you had done this, people would have cared. See, now that you're a man, you have to understand. People don't care about men. You're, you're supposed to be tough, tougher than this. Who cares? No one cares. Stop trying to get attention to yourself. You're supposed to be a man. Men don't try to draw attention to themselves. Most men want to be left alone. Uh, 
It was the Chris Rock bit. Uh, F, uh, feed me, F me, and leave me the F alone. That's, that's the mantra. You have to adopt that if you want to be a man. I thought you wanted to be a man. Be a man. You know, go build something. Go work on your motorcycle. Go, uh, I don't know, do something. Stop whining. That's what women do. Uh, men don't don't whine. Uh, you, you didn't want to be a hot chick anymore. Okay. Okay. We accept that. You're Elliot Page. So be Elliot. Stop. Stop doing this. <laughs> no one cares. That, that's the way it works. Did no one tell you? I, I, I don't know if, I, if you asked anybody if you thought being a man would just be like being a woman except you're into women or that you would get some sort of free pass to things. That's not the way it works. We fight for everything we get. We have to. Everybody's against us, including other men. But, you know, we're cool about it. We, we have a sort of etiquette. I'd be happy to teach you that. But, God, you got to stop whining first. You, know, you got you to gotta stop. Ah, everybody's against me. No. No, no, no. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, everybody is against you. Kind of. Sort of. But not specifically you. It's just men. So, please, stop this. Man up. And that's it. For Tony D and Little Joan, we'll see it in the next one. Don't forget Ben Shoot and Rumble.